Welcome to this gentle yoga flow. We'll begin in a comfortable seat, cross-legged or with your legs folded underneath you, or even in a comfortable seat on a chair. Find some length in your spine and as best you can, soften the shoulders from the ears. Inhale breath, we'll drop right ear to right shoulder. I'll mirror you today. Exhale breath, the chin rolls toward the chest. Inhale, left ear to left shoulder. Exhale, allow the chin to sink toward the chest. Inhale, back to the first side, easy neck stretch. Exhale, lower chin to chest. Inhale, roll ear to shoulder, second side. Exhale, chin to chest. Maybe one or two rolls side to side with your own breath at your own pace that feels good for your body today. Finding as deep and full of an inhale as is possible today. When you've equaled out some easy neck rolls on both sides, allow the chin to sink toward the chest momentarily. Then lift the gaze back into that tall seat. Inhale, sweep the hands wide overhead for a big stretch, lifting rib cage from hips. Feel the crown of the head and the fingertips stretch skyward. And exhale, stretch the fingertips out wide to side walls as the hands come down to the sides. Let's take that stretch again. Inhale, hands wide overhead. If it's accessible and comfortable, you can interlace your fingers and flip the palms forward and then up to the sky. Stretching rib cage from hips, lifting through the crown and the heels of the hands. And exhale, release the hands, stretching wide, opening the heart as the hands come down to the mat. One more variation, inhale, hands wide overhead. This time we'll grab the right wrist, grab the right wrist if that feels good and stretch up, taking a lean over to the left. Couple breaths here, inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Let this be an easy, releasing, feel good stretch in the body. Finding as deep a breath as is possible. Maybe one more inhale breath. And exhale, return to center. This time grabbing the left wrist, the left wrist stretching up and leaning over to the right this time. Two or three deep inhales and exhales and this easy side bend. Let this be relaxed, soothing. A place where you can find some easy, full breath as is possible today. One more lovely inhale and exhale breath if that feels good. And then easing out, floating both hands wide and down to the earth. Some shoulder rolls, inhale the shoulders forward and up. Exhale back and down, inhale forward and up. Exhale and opening through the front of the chest. Couple more here with the breath, feeling the heart open. Maybe one more lovely shoulder roll here and pause. I'll invite you to come to a seat on the mat, knees bent, feet flat on the mat. Hands will stretch back behind you so you're reclining or hinging a bit at the hips. Widen the feet, maybe mat width or a little wider apart for some knee waves. Inhale, knees drop right. 
Lifting out of the heart here, feeling length in the spine. Exhale back to center. Inhale, knees wave, fall to the left. Exhale back to center. Again, a lift of the heart here, lift out of the shoulders and wrists as you inhale and the knees wave right. Exhale, center. Inhale, knees gently drop left as far as is comfortable. Exhale, center. And with your own breath here, a few more easy waves side to side. Using the breath as a guide to pace you. Allow the movement to be easy and soft. Allowing the breath to be easy and soft as is possible. Maybe one more knee wave side to side. Inhale to the right. Exhale, center. Inhale to the left. Exhale, center, and pause. If it feels good, you might roll over to a tabletop hands and knees position. The knees ground underneath the hips, hands ground under the shoulders. If it's better for your elbows today, you or your wrists today, you might come down to the elbows. Opposition raise here. Feel a gentle lifting through the abdominal muscles and the pelvic floor, gentle and easy. Then float the right arm and the left leg up away from the mat. The fingers and toes might stay tapping on the mat here, or they could lift away. That's up to you. Take an inhale and an exhale here. Then ease all of the limbs to the earth. Second side. Inhale the left arm and right leg, left arm, right leg. The toes and fingers could stay tapping on the mat or they might float all the way off the mat. Your choice today. An inhale and an exhale here. And then ease the limbs to the mat. Let's try that again. First side, inhale, right arm, left leg, opposition raise. And breathe here and inhale and an exhale at the top. And then easing back to tabletop, all four limbs on the earth. Second side, inhale, float left arm, right leg away. Opposition raise. Inhale and exhale here. And then easing to the mat. One more each side, inhale, right arm, left leg. Pause here for one full breath cycle and inhale and an exhale. Then grounding down to the mat, second side, floating up, left arm, right leg. Pause here for a full inhale and exhale. Then grounding to the mat and pausing here. An invitation to head to child's pose. Maybe the big toes touch, knees come wide if that feels good, sinking hips back to heels and maybe allowing the forehead to sink toward the mat. If the forehead doesn't reach, you might use a block or some, some other prop to bring the floor up to the head. So you can rest the head and neck here. Take a breath or two here in child's pose. Allowing the breath to maybe expand into the back of the heart and the sides of the heart here. Breathing in 360 degrees. and an ease on out of that child's pose. Removing any props if you need to. We're setting up in tabletop hands and knees. Take an inhale breath here. 
Exhale, round in a cat stretch. Upper back puffs up to the sky. Head and tail curl toward each other under the body. Inhale to cow pose. Find your tabletop and then allow the heart, the sternum to lift forward and up through the hands, low back, just a neutral curve while the heart lifts forward and up through the hands in cow pose. And then in exhale, adjust the knees wide as is needed and sit back to child's pose. Just a moment here. We'll flow through that series again. Inhale forward to tabletop, adjust the position of hands and knees as needed. Exhale, round cat stretch, upper back curling up toward the sky, head and tail curling under the body. Inhale, cow pose with a lift through the upper spine. So the sternum lifts forward and up, low back neutral here. And then exhale, child's pose, adjusting position of knees and feet as is needed. A few more easy flows this way. Inhale, tabletop, adjusting the position of knees and hands. Exhale, round cat stretch, lifting out of the base of the wrists. Inhale, cow pose with a lift through the upper spine, maybe the chin lifts. Exhale to child's pose, adjusting the lower body as needed. Maybe one more flow this way. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale to cow pose. Shoulders from ears. And exhale to a child's pose. A couple of breaths here, resting in child's pose. Once again, sensing into the breath if that feels comfortable and accessible today. Perhaps breathing into the back and sides of the heart, breathing in 360 degrees. And moving on out, back to our tabletop position. You might come to standing any way you like, uh, but I'll invite you to tuck your toes under and walk the hands to the feet at the back of your mat. The feet could be pretty wide to make space for the body and the knees can be bent as much as you need. And then slowly maybe walking the hands up the legs until we can come to a standing mountain pose. Palms roll forward feeling the chest open up slightly as the shoulders drop from the ears. Inhale, the hands stretch wide and high. We've done this before. Exhale, allow the hands to sink back down to the side, sit back into a chair pose. Hands might rest on the tops of the thighs as the hips sink back. You might even bring a hand to the belly if that feels like a comfortable support. Sitting back into your imaginary chair, the kneecaps align over your middle toes and we're able to see the toes over the knees. A lift of the heart, a broadening open of the front of the shoulder, an inhale breath here, and exhale, press to standing. Let's slow again. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Exhale, we sink back into chair, maybe supporting with hands on thighs. If it feels good, you could bring the hands to heart center allowing the press, a gentle press of the palms to allow you to draw your shoulder blades together and back and open through the front of the heart. Inhale here and then exhale, press to standing. We flow again, inhale, hands wide overhead. Feel that stretch from soles of the feet to fingertips. Exhale, sit into your chair pose of choice. Inhale here, 
feeling a gentle lift through pelvic floor and belly supporting as best and as is possible. Exhale to standing. Maybe a couple more this way. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Feel that stretch rib cage from hips. Exhale, sit back into your chair of choice. Inhale, stay. Exhale to standing. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Exhale, sit back into chair. Inhale, stay. And exhale, press to standing and pause. So you might make your way out to a wider stance here, maybe heel toeing the feet a little wider. Setting up for Malasana squat or garland pose. So the heels are in and the toes are angled out. I'll invite you to sink the hips pretty low and you might be able to rest the inner arms or the elbows on the inner thighs here. For some folks, they can actually sink the hips pretty low. Uh, you want to be mindful of the knees here in this garland or malasana squat. And let's just gently move on out, maybe walking the hands up the body and pause the top, stretch the hands wide overhead to a star pose. Feel energy stretch out through fingertips and toes out through the crown of the head. It might even be a little lift of the sternum and a lift of the gaze here in star pose as we take a breath or two. Full inhales and exhales as is possible. Feeling an opening through the front of the body, also the back of the body opening in 360 degrees length and ease in this beautiful extension through the whole body. And then we're sitting back down into that garland pose or molasses squat. So sitting the hips down, the kneecaps are aligning over the middle toes. It might be accessible to drop the elbows or the inner arms to your inner um, upper legs, your hip adductor area here. You could sink all the way down really low if that feels good for your knees today. Take a couple of breaths here in your molasses squat. And then an easy press up. Again, walking the hands up the body if that feels more supported and comfortable. Stretch the arms wide, star pose. Once again, feel a stretch through fingers and toes, crown of the head, maybe a lift of the heart, maybe a little lift of the chin. A couple of breaths here, feeling the earth beneath the feet and a beautiful stretch and extension through the body. And one more time, your Malasana squat of choice. So coming into your pose, that's going to feel best in your body today. If you do happen to have um, some yoga blocks or another prop handy, you could experiment with sitting on some blocks or another prop or even a chair to support you in this Malasana squat, this grounded posture. One or two breaths here. And then an easy press up to standing, maybe walking the hands up the body. Star pose one last time. Stretch the arms wide. Feel that big stretch out through fingers and toes. Maybe a little lift of the heart. Some support here with the glutes engaged in back. And we'll soften the hands down to the sides. Maybe heel toe the feet in. And I'll invite you to head to the mat, to tabletop, any way you like. Pausing here in tabletop. We'll take a few circles through the hips. So I'll invite you to walk the hands forward a few inches in front of the shoulders for this particular exercise or posture. 
And you're going to imagine you maybe have a paintbrush or a marker on your right hip that's touching down to the floor. Like you could draw a circle on the floor with that paintbrush or marker. You'll gently allow the hips to sway over to the right and then bring the hips forward and center. Then allow the hips to sway gently to the left and then back and center to your tabletop position. Hip circle to the right again. Inhale the hips sway to the right. Exhale, they come forward and center. Just a small, comfortable circle here. Inhale left and exhale back and center. And circle again, inhale right. Exhale, gentle forward and center. Lift out of the shoulders and wrists. Inhale left, exhale, circle back and center. Maybe one more this way, inhale right. Exhale forward and center, inhale left, and exhale to our starting post. Pause here, and if you like, you might choose to take a child's pose. Big toes touching, knees open wide, and sink the hips back for a breath or two. If you're here in child's pose and your elbows rest comfortably on the mat, it could feel good to allow the hands to lift away and the palms connect overhead. You might even begin to bend the elbows a lot and allow your thumbs to reach toward the back of the neck or the middle of the back, the space between the shoulder blades. couple of breaths here in whatever version of child's pose that feels good for you. And when you're ready, stretching the arms long in front of you, shifting the weight forward to find tabletop. Once again, we'll walk the hands forward a few inches in front of the shoulders this time. And imagining the paintbrush or marker on your left hip down to the floor this time on the left hip, we circle the opposite way. Inhale, let the hips sway to the left. Exhale, the hips come forward and center. Inhale, sway the hips to the right and exhale back to your tabletop. And we circle again. Inhale to the left. Exhale, forward and center. Inhale to the right. Exhale and return to start. Couple more. Inhale, left. Exhale, gentle forward and center, lifting out of shoulders and wrists. Inhale, right. Exhale, table. Maybe one more gentle hip circle to the left, inhaling. Exhale, forward and center. Inhale, right. Exhale, back to your table. And then once again, if it feels comfortable, big toes touch. Knees can come wide and we'll sink back to that child's pose. Now, if it is comfortable and accessible today, I'll invite you to walk your hands to the right, maybe off the mat if you're using a mat today, to the right until you feel a nice stretch or a lengthening in the left side of the body. So feeling a stretch from left pinky finger to the left hip. Allowing the shoulder to be easy and relaxed here. So no, no tension there in the left shoulder and adjust as is needed. So that shoulder feels comfortable today. Maybe one more inhale and exhale breath here. And then walking the hands over to the left this time, over to the left, maybe off the left side of the mat. Looking for a stretch from the right pinky finger to the right hip down the side of the body. And again, allowing the stretch to be comfortable, released, and easy for that right shoulder. So adjusting as is needed, finding comfort in this opening through the right side body.
And when you're ready, gently walking back to center and heading to a comfortable seat, knees bent, feet flat on the mat. Arms will stretch back behind us. This time I'll invite you to roll the fingers so they're pointing out to the sides or maybe slightly forward. Ground the feet. And when you're ready, it'll be a lift of the hips away from the mat. Now, if it's accessible and comfortable, you might come up to reverse tabletop, engaging through the glutes and the whole backside of the body to find an opening through the front of the hips and the heart. Maybe another breath or two here. And then easing down. A knee wave side to side here. Inhale, the knees gently drop to the right as far as is comfortable. And then exhale, center. Second side, inhale, the knees the other way. Exhale, center. We'll set up for reverse table once again. Ground into the feet and hands. Take an inhale breath and lift the hips up away from the mat as high as is comfortable and accessible today. Really using the glutes, activating in the back of the body to feel an opening through the front of the hips and heart. A breath or two here and then ease on down. A knee wave side to side, inhale and exhale. Maybe to the second side, inhale, exhale. If you like last round here, pressing into the palms of the hands and the feet, lifting the hips for a breath or two, your reverse tabletop today. And then easing to the mat. Once again, a knee wave, if you like. Inhale and exhale, side to side. And I'll invite you to head down to a side lying position, maybe on your left side, if that feels accessible today. Maybe using your bottom arm as a pillow, the bottom knee or both knees could bend for a little support. If you have a pillow or a blanket to place between the knees, you could certainly do that for comfort. And here in the side lying position, I'll invite you to take a few breaths and just begin to notice the sensations of the body. Noticing what's here in the body as you're lying on your side. Noticing if there are any adjustments you might make to become that much more comfortable. And then coming back to the breath. And guiding the breath into the lower body, into the toes and feet, ankles, lower legs, knees, upper legs, and hips. Just imagining the breath flowing down into the whole of the lower body, gently brushing the lower body with a sense of ease and release. Allowing the breath to flow there into the lower body and finding some ease and release as is possible. Now letting go of the lower body. In your mind's eye, imagining, imagining the breath flowing into the whole torso from hips to abdomen, 
heart up to the shoulders. Imagining the breath flowing in and brushing the whole torso, front, back, sides, with a sense of gentle ease and relaxation. The breath gently flowing into the torso. Perhaps shifting your awareness from the torso now and imagining the breath flowing into the arms, the fingers, palms, wrists, the lower arms and elbows, the upper arms. Imagining the breath filling the whole arms, right and left arms. Brushing them gently with a sense of ease and release. The breath flowing in and out of the arms. And now drawing your awareness to the neck and head face, bringing awareness to this part of your body, imagining the breath flowing into the neck, the head, the features of the face, perhaps allowing the breath to gently brush those areas bringing a sense of ease and release. If it's comfortable, maybe the eyelids even gently close. The gentle breath bathing the head and neck with relaxation. And now perhaps bringing the whole body into your field of awareness. Sensing the breath flowing in and out of the whole body. As best you can, sensing into some ease and release here as you breathe in and out of the whole of the body. You might remain here with a gentle breath for a few more moments. Or if you're ready to move out of your practice, you may gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat for a few breaths. Maybe bringing some gentle movement into fingers and toes, blinking the eyes open. Thank you for taking time for your own health and well-being today.